Hi, everyone. It is me, Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and of course, because I'm committed to YouTube again, and I don't know when I'm going to be able to record any gameplay videos or do videos about uh, basketball, talking about the NBA, because that is something that I really do want to start doing, because that's another passion of mine that I haven't begun. Anyway, that's for another time. So, um, <clears throat> I have been experimenting with guitar plugins because I've never really used them before. Um, this is my first time seriously digging into them. Uh, so I tried out this plug, I'm trying out this plugin that I got a free trial for called STL Tone Hub. And it is just, um, blowing my mind how amazing it is. Um... And of course, I'm not sponsored. Of course, why would anyone sponsor someone with, with, with like, less than 5,000 subscribers? I don't know. But, yeah, uh, just in case anyone ever thought that. But anyways, I wanted to try this out. Um, so, let me see here. I'm trying to... Okay, let's move this down here so you can see my guitar. Okay. And now let's turn on the window capture so you can see. Um, yeah, I'm using Reaper. Okay. I hope that this all of this works well. All right, now let's go here. Okay, let's open up the the plugin. Okay, so. I... oh, yikes. Oh, that's not working. Crap. Um... <clears throat> Hang on, I think I need to change this to... Not window capture, but display capture. I'm sorry, give me a second. Alright, looks like I'm recording again. Turned on display cap. Uh, by the way, j please bear with me, guys. This is my first time ever trying this, and of course, uh, I like to do everything as much as I can on one take. So let's go back here. Okay, now if I okay, so we take this. All right, hang on. Okay, I am back once again. Sorry for all the mess, but. You're watching me learn this stuff in real time. Alright, let's go back in here. Alright, so... If everything works, um, there's this plugin here that I'm really enjoying. Uh, yeah, STL Tone Hub. And I found this... Uh, so you, it comes with these uh, artist packs. I'm using this one from... John Feldman. I'm not familiar with who John Feldman is. I'm going to guess he's some type of producer or engineer. And j before I uh, I opened up OBS to start recording, because I just wanted to showcase this, because I was so amazed how nice this was. Uh, there's this uh, thing, there's a preset here called Hot Fire based on a JCM 800 with a Marshall 1960 cabinet. And I'm, I've been playing on it for maybe 20 at least 10 minutes so let's uh, let's see here <laughs> it okay good input capture is working good good here we go <laughs>
Now, the thing that I really enjoy about this um, that made me like immediately fall in love with this more than anything else um, is that this is the most responsive... Hang on. Is it... Hang on. I'm thinking... That's what it was. Goodness, I was wondering what that hissing was. It was a, I needed to turn up the noise gate. So, it's very responsive to the volume knob. So this is on the bridge humbucker all the way, with the volume all the way up. Then if I turn it down, it cleans it up. It's my phone. No, nah, it's man, this is yep. Oh boy, okay. I'm not a professional, <clears throat> but if you wanted to document what it looked like for a person to just trying stuff out in real time, this is what it looks like. All right, so that's just one amp, one preset. You can get all that wide variety of sounds, all from just playing with your volume knob and switching pickups. I love it. <clears throat> and I think... I don't remember how much it is because you can either like buy individual amp models or you can subscribe to it. I th and I think it's like 15 bucks per month, which is incredible because I, if I was not broke, I would absolutely do it. But hey, I get to enjoy it for 10 days. And especially like it's just so dynamic. Like when, uh, anyway, I could go on and on forever. Let's try out a, uh, some other amps. Uh, let's see. There's one here called Open Your Eyes Ma uh, Mesa Boogie Mark II with a 1960 cabinet. Double click. Let's try that out. I like that. 
shit ton of sustain. <laughs> Okay, so there's reverb on there. Um, seeing something here. It says Feldman slash Hoppus? Is it Mark Hoppus? From Blink-182? It says Cle Okay, so I'm gonna guess John Feldman uh, produced Blink-182. I don't know any Blink-182 songs or riffs. You can try to guess, because I am a Blink-182 fan, but I don't listen to them as often as I should. <laughs> Because I know Tom DeLonge is a guy that he only uses just one bridge pickup and one volume knob. Yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out what's my age again. I, my, I don't have good ear training now. Oh boy. Nah, yeah, it's kind of getting there. Nah, alright, I'm just going to abandon ship on that. But no, that's a silver tone, 1471. Anyways. Let's see, what other... Who, what else is in here? Uh, Yeah, I really screwed this up with because I'm just using my laptop so uh, let's see fender Tweed deluxe I want to try that out crystal clean one here we go oh already love it I think 
think there's a compressor on there. Is there? Yeah, yeah, there is. Okay, that's why it's very sparkly. Even though there is a preset here called Sparkle Clean. Let me turn that out. It's so funny because based on the last video, most people would think I'm just a straight up like metal palm muting Metallica guy, but like I would say that's like only one fraction of my influences because I also really love, of course, I love Stevie Ray, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Eric Johnson and Eric Clapton and. Uh, and John for shanty and people like that. But I really don't know music theory, which is, I think that's kind of why I'm really lacking uh, in my guitar skills department, because my entire life, since I was 13, when I first started playing guitar, all I've ever done was just uh, guess and hope it sounds right and that's very limited like I knew Eddie Van Halen never knew music theory or at least I think he didn't and but he just got away with pure natural talent and of course I know you should never compare yourself especially to Eddie Van Halen but I'm pretty sure most of us, for, for the rest of us, music theory can really help out, and I just need to start getting on that train. I want to try some pedals on here. Because uh, if I go to Sparkle Clean, let's just turn off that compressor. Uh, let's try using an overdrive. This green one looks like a tube screamer. Yep, sounds like a tube screamer. of it i i haven't played that in years uh not that i ever knew the whole song uh let's see yeah it's like they have it's just endless possibilities here uh let's see what else do they possibly have? i'm sorry i'm just i just have to move my laptop screen up so i can read the screen because i'm blind because i wear glasses need to get new glasses soon Freeman 100. Oh, Freedman. Oh, I love Freedman amps. God. Let's see. Uh, HBE Gain 2. Uh, whoops. Hang on. I think I'll just end it on this because I've been going on for far too long. But anyway. 
I'll just play with the Friedman amp here. <clears throat> If I'm gonna go that way, I need to. Nah, screw it. We're going. Where is it? I saw it in here, like a 5150 type. Uh, where is it? 51. I swear, I know. I know it's in here. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Actually, you know, what? let me just pause the recording and then I'll come back. Okay, I, f I found it. It says here, uh, mid crunch one. With a fifty-one fifty-three. Let's try that again. No, okay, that is not it. That is not it. That is absolutely not the brown sound. I'm guessing. Sorry, guys. I should have prepared more. Just go for high gain. Forgot to unmute the mic. I was trying to find something similar to the brown sound, but I just, I don't think it's gonna be in here though. Uh, we'll try these on. <laughs> That's, yep, yeah, sorry. That's not going to work. Hang on. Uh, crap. Yeah, it's like, it's just endless. There's so many things in here. PV vector? I have no idea what this is. Inve oh, wait. PV invective. I think that's the Mishiman Soar amp. I really don't know anything about Periphery. Like, I know who Mishiman Soar is because I would read about him in Guitar World magazine 10 years ago. Uh, but, yeah, this is... I'm, like, whatever... I, I am the farthest thing from Gent. I barely know anything about it, but... Uh, there goes nothing. <laughs>
think I've uh, spent enough time, and I doubt anyone's going to watch this. Especially if you made it all the way to 26 minutes on this thing. Alright, so, yep, that's my guitar playing video. I don't know how frequently I'm going to do this, but, you know, I, my big commitment for myself was I was going to finally start playing guitar again, and the best way I know how to do that is through recording myself. <clears throat> so, anyways, I'll, I hope, excuse me, I hope everything ended up okay on the recording, and I'll see you next time.